Well, two, let's play Monopoly. So in today's game, it looks like I get to go first. And I start out with a six. Oh, come on. Already? He already gets a railroad. What is going on? Look at that, I own two blues. That, oh, 25 to Arthur. How is that helpful? Look, Arthur. Arthur gets his second property. And look at that. We have our first trade. It came from Arthur. He would like Tennessee Avenue. Uh, not surprised that the... I'm not, you shouldn't be surprised that the answer was no. Oh, good. I'll take Waterworks. It's only you know, good if he wins on it. Luxury tax. Alright, Arthur. Well, you're not keeping Vault Gavinu, unfortunately. You should give it up. Full price. Phew. Needed that railroad. Arthur, I believe we'll get our instantly. Good. Come on out, Arthur. Lost fifty dollars because I was the one who got the get out of jail free card. I will buy it. So it's like we still need a yellow. A green. Take it right in the reading. Good. $25. I'll take it. And it gets him away from the yellow and green. It does get him close. Oh, come on. He opens that now. He would like to trade again. He would like waterworks. What a surprise. Uh, no deal, of course. Phew, if you needed a yellow. Let's see, I need a green, dark blue. Wow, that's the second time today I've landed on luxury tax. That's not good. Can't have art getting that railroad. Oh, good, it's only $12. It's fine. Wow, I own a blue and a red. One of the double railroad cart to get fifty dollars. I needed a two, I got a seven. Alright, I really need short line. Or at least enough money that if he gets it then I can trade him. What a surprise, Arthur just got State Avenue. He would like Tennessee Avenue. Let's see. Arthur just, no, it's like, it's like, no, no, we're not doing that. Come on, money to Arthur. It's okay, get, he can get assist, that's fine. Needed a nine and a five and a five. Look, that Arthur just bought it, an unbelievable ten to Arthur. Few, I will buy it. Twenty two to Arthur. There we go, that is fifty dollars. Oh, but I still have another one. Huh? So let's obviously get rid of that. Actually, I'll keep it for now. I end up having to trade for it anyway. Ten. Feel. Well, now I'm landing on States Avenue a lot. 
<laughs> the utility few I own that one. Couldn't have gotten none. Uh oh, that's not good. He owns two green now. A trade. He would like waterworks. You can have waterworks, but I will take States Avenue. 209 and... No! That would mean he would get one. You're not getting 209 and cash for Venter. Good, good. So I need a 2 or a 10, I've got a 6, of course. Good, good, good. Let's have Arthur, you know. It's good if he doesn't have enough money to land on that green. If it's to go, does he really need that? I will buy it. Fifty dollars. Need that. Uh, let me sell oh, off. Oh, that's the one I own. <gasps> Come on. <gasps> so let's see if I don't. Wow! I landed on it. Easy doesn't work out that way. But I will buy it. And look at that, I will buy Park Place too. There we go, I have a Monopoly. And $50 from Arthur. And 10. Alright, so it's on Mortgage, Boardwalk, and Ball. It's clearly a mistake to do. Baltic. Well, I have one dollar. One. So Arthur would like Pacific Avenue, which he is not getting. No deal, of course. Phew, that was close. Phew, I own that property. And I get $14. Doesn't help. Unless, you know what, if I land on the orange, the yellow, or the green. See? Have to mortgage it anyway. So, uh, ball to cast to go. What a surprise that Arthur gets a red. Well, he's landed on short line a lot. How about he lands on it? Instead he gets gains a hundred dollars. So what a surprise income tax. That is not a surprise. Thirty two ridiculous. Hey, get fourteen of it back. Good hop on over. Good seven. I'll take it. Let's see. Three properties are still out there. Mediterranean, Connecticut, and Kentucky Avenue. Kentucky Avenue really doesn't affect the game. Or it could affect the outcome. If Arthur gets it, like, or I get it, doesn't matter. But if I get either Mediterranean or okay. Good, I'll take $20. Oh, but Arthur lands on a railroad. There we go. There is the jail fee. So he gets to keep the twenty dollars. Or if he gets a four, he got a four, one hundred dollars. So you know, I guess we'll have to split that to fifty. That was helpful. One. Except so only give him 50. Their Indiana can be unmortgaged. Probably a mistake. But I did get $50, so that helps. 
How about, oh, not an eight? That's, is, that's a safe zone for Arthur. Imagine St. Charles, please. Ten dollars, please. Very up to 77. Yeah. And of course, I have to mortgage something, so I mortgage Indiana and Tennessee to pay for it. Phew, Arthur would have landed on it. $18, thank you very much. This utility that I own. Oh, oh, come on. Well, nothing we can do about that. Arthur would like to trade. He would like waterworks. Well, you're not getting waterworks, unfortunately. Three to five. That is up $100. I do especially, you know, I can use it for this. See? I landed on luxury tax, so because of the 100, I can unmortgage Tennessee Avenue. What a surprise! Arthur just got Connecticut Avenue. Not surprising. That has to hurt Arthur. So there's one more property. There's a good chance Arthur will get it, but I obviously could get it. Where is the advanced boardwalk card? Well, I am landing on short line a lot. So, the six got a seven, got the sass, that's fine. And the most it would be, or well, only a one. So, it would be, so Sift Avenue. Forty-five dollars needed. Arthur, will you get out of jail? And get out free. Yep, get jail. Oh, there's like two properties left to unmortgage. Twelve. Collect fifty dollars from Arthur. Eighteen more. Get the new legs landing on Kentucky Avenue. <laughs> That's the one he owns. And another trade. What does he want? He would like Pacific Avenue. No deal, of course. Oh, good, so it's on mortgage that. Good, all right, back in the possible amount. Now it's time, I guess I will start building houses. On board. So I would need $400. Well, now it's all, now it's all saving up. There's no properties to buy. So you can trade for obviously the dark purple, the yellow, and green. <laughs> Arthur and I do seem to like to landing on that one a lot. Good advance to Illinois Avenue. I'll, I'll take the 180 property and we'll have to, uh, to give Arthur 20. Alright, Arthur, he would again. He just made a trade. He would like Baltic Avenue. Not surprised that my answer is no deal. Ridiculous. And Arthur's going to jail too. Ooh, nice, I get out free. Or Arthur, eight dollars, but it's fine. Eight dollars. Of course, that is the minimum that you can get from the utilities. Okay, two, two times four is eight. Phew, you lost $42 there. 
And another 14. That's helpful. The extra $1 bills are nice. Take a walk on the boardwalk. Wanted Arthur getting that card. Or me getting that card, you know, you know if I passed, go. There we go. Let's put houses on boardwalk. Uh, let's put my houses in the first B. You paid $400. Obviously, now could get assessed, but it's fine. So, what did Arthur need? He needs a 5 or a 7. He got a 5. So, he gives me $175. That is helpful. And I give him 16 back. Well, gain $300. Does he really need that? Phew, six dollars. Good, just pop on up again. Why does he keep wanting to make these trades? Or right, he wants Venter Avenue. The answer, of course, is no deal. Ten. Double it, but it's okay. I own it, so... That'll mean I'll put more houses on Boardwalk and Park Boys. Now it is 500 and 600. That would be, he would survive. Go back three spaces, I thought. Well, you think you avoid, you know, giving Arthur money on that spot, but then the game goes, nope, you can head back three spaces. And 20 more. So let's see. 10 that is not good. Arthur's not giving me money. Maybe that was close. Or a 6. Income tax refund. 20. Lost 2. All right, roll. Exactly. Out you go. Fourteen dollars. That is nice. Thank you. So jump. Six twenty-four. Right back to him. Ten would have been nice. Then I would have got forty. Arthur would like to trade with me. So what does he want? He wants Pacific Avenue. No deal, of course. I mean, I could take a chance. Well, I got $50 from him. No, I'm not. He, I mean, he could get a four. He got a three. He loses only seventy-five dollars. So he does avoid it. Connecticut Avenue. He owns this property. Let's see if Arthur you know, gives me some money. Not good. That's helpful. I just try to avoid giving money to Arthur. Especially getting a four and paying off that jail fee. Alright, he gained... He lost $26 in that exchange. Uh, ooh, 12. Oh, I got doubles again. Three doubles in a row, and yet clearly I'm not on a doubles streak. So, Arthur would like to trade. He wants to trade for Waterworks. Well, obviously, the answer is no deal. That is helpful. Now I can put more houses there. One of my houses is the first B now. So the damage has increased 
to 1,411. So Arthur, you know, he really, I mean, he, he'll live, but he'll have to mortgage the properties. So I gave him 20, good, $25 to me. Off the jail fee and more. I just gave Arthur seventy-six dollars. So Arthur would like Baltic Avenue. Why would I give him Baltic Avenue? And he gets to keep all that money. He gives me 14 of it. So I guess that's fine. And it's oh, four, that's okay. Ten would have been better, because ten actually would get me money. Okay, fifty to Arthur. A chance. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Good chance he won't. But let's see. He missed. What a surprise. Oh, good. $200. I'll take it. I know, but he keeps, uh, you know, gaining money. Let's take it right in the reading. Phew. This is clearly a mistake, but. I definitely know. I don't want it to be if I get assessed 320. I'd rather it be 230. See, Arthur was kind enough to give me $14. That means I can survive. And everything beyond his red. Now if he gives me 2,000, that would be huge. Even 1,500. You would have to mortgage a property or two. The two thousand you'd have to mortgage more. So Arthur, again, he wants to trade. He would like Pacific, Pacific Avenue. Hopefully, you know, he will just land on it a couple times and the game will end. See, I needed that twenty-six dollars. Arthur, you can't pay your bill, so but so he can mortgage something. Mediterranean Avenue is gone. Connecticut Avenue is gone. Electric Company is gone. States Avenue is gone. And New York Avenue is gone. So the minimum amount of money I can give Arthur is $20. To eliminate him. Ford. Now I believe any if he lands on it one more time. He didn't he didn't know more than much. Phew, ten dollars, I'll take it. There's two hundred even though yes, these are that that is large amounts. Pennsylvania five. Twelve fifty to Arthur. Few hundred fifty back. Few, I'll take um, no problem taking twenty two dollars. See, he's down nine hundred assets, so he will be eliminated if he lands on either one, boardwalk or park place. 
deal, of course. He gets a seven. He survived. But, oh, come. Well, we're not ending the game in jail. I don't mind using that get it up jail free card, especially. Right into three or five would have eliminated him. But of course, he lands on. That is huge. Pay no risk. This is a nice safe zone. Eighteen dollars. Arthur, if he avoids it and passes go a few more times, and I give him money, he won't be able to survive. Park place. Marvin Gardens, you own, he owns that property. And a five. Where was that, you know, when I did it? Now, if he passes go and keeps all of his money, he will survive part twice. But I guess he's learning. The man has to go collect $200. And a five! Unfortunately, his game is over. So, that is the end of the game. So, that is the end of the video. So, I will see you in the next video.